Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Prepper Apocalypse mod, meaning we are playing Urban Prepper. And today, Fluffy has decided to get into the stuff and the things. Hi, dude. the bleed effect happen? Wow, that's a long time. I had to let one cut out. One cat. There's two in here. In about five minutes, the other cat's gonna want out. And then five minutes after that, one of them is gonna want back in. What are you doing? Hang on, wait for it. Got him! So, today we are going to the other trader. We are going to run ahead and do his mission. I didn't fully abandon his missions, but he keeps sending me into the wasteland, so I don't necessarily want to do his missions right now. But the other guy is sending me to places I don't mind going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do his missions, see whether or not he has any cobblestone, because we're going to need a lot of cobblestone. And then we're going to have to spend... I don't know, some time upgrading and chopping down trees. So let's run ahead and go do his mission and then run back and see whether or not he has any cobblestone. Uh, if you missed yesterday's episode, we did decide that we will be redoing the map because this map has got some uh, technical problems. Apparently all of these big city maps have one issue in common and that's that they force in POIs that don't necessarily need to spawn because they're not done. And because I used a pre-gen map, it did not include any of the prepper stuff that I wanted, uh, the prepper POIs. And that's definitely something we want to make sure that we're getting. There was a huge chance for a pass through and a very cooked deer. Chickens and rabbits. I need one more chicken and I'm done with that one. There we go. Still looking for that chicken though. Watch. As soon as I get done with the chicken and the stuff, it's it's gonna be like, hey, why don't you get a whole bunch of deer? Got it. Do not touch my chicken. I have three skill points. Now I have to do boars, wolves, and coyotes. Why are you for serious though? Three of each. Does, wolves, bacon, and doggos! Oh, there's a boar right there. Hang on. Wait for it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. We'll use this shot. And then immediately swap over. There we go. Okay. Bad neighborhood. Most of the shooting ones are ferals and those guys follow. Oh, there's a bunny. Um, retrieve the supplies. Okay, so this is one that I would need to retrieve the supplies and get the hell out of here. Who was it that had the weapon? It's not you. Was it? Oh, it was you. Okay. All right, so do not stick my head out the back of the building or we're going to have to deal with that guy. All right, gotcha. Nope. Okay, is that it on the ground floor? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the ground floor. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, now I've got that, and if I have to, I can leave. I probably, yeah. I was just supposed to say, I probably should have. Oh, you've got a weapon. A big weapon. Frank, what you doing? Just cheering for the other guy. Come on, you need to come into the building. 
He's probably fighting to get in the glass because he's trying to open up the entire window instead of just going through the side that he has, because, you know, that's what zombies do. If he's inside the building, it's going to take him a little while to get back out, especially if he's coming up to this floor, which means I can bound over that and get to my bike and get out of here before the shooter comes up. Oh, there he is. Okay. He has a, uh, I was supposed to say he hasn't figured out how to get in. He has now. Bailing. <laughs> Bye. There's a shooter back here too. No. <sighs> okay, the fetches are definitely the way to go whenever I'm in that biome because if I have to grab the package and just skedaddle because the zombie is there, it's definitely worth it to be able to get at least some kind of reward. Hey, dude. I'm kind of busy. Uh, I kind of need your ammo. As much as I want the the crafting skill books, I'm, I'm going to go for that. Uh, let me go ahead and get another job. Some oil. And I need your cobblestone. That's the whole reason I actually came back over here today. Please tell me you had cobblestone. Yes, you've got cobblestone. Nice. That gives me 1,200. Okie dokie. Now we can run back home and start working on the beast. I, I do need some more wood as well. Hi, ma'am. I'm going to have to get some more wood harvested and all kinds of stuff. But uh, if you were here yesterday, then you know we started working on the beast. And it's going it's a, it's a thick base with two Cs. It's very thick. It's going to require a lot of resources to upgrade it, but I think that design should work for this playthrough because of the types of bad guys. I don't know if there's like an elevated bad guy after these. From what I saw in... Uh, that's not a doe. Uh, from what I saw in the Wild West mod, which uses some of the same things that this mod has, or this uses some of the same things that the other mod has. Either way, some of the things that are in there are kind of, kind of common, which makes me think there are more and bigger and badder bad guys later on. There's a piggy. We need to get the piggy. Okay. And here is the base. Uh, block damage and... Uh, more from having done it. I think both of those will work. Oh, out of wood. I wonder if I stored any of my wood. I don't think I stored any of it, but let me go make sure. And I'm gonna go ahead and top off my food and water and find some sort of drink that helps me with my stamina whilst I do this, because this is gonna take forever. It's my fault for building such a big horde base at the very beginning, but... Hey, as long as you can get your design right, it makes the rest of the playthrough really, really easier. Really, really easy. Ah, uh, misc. Yeah, I didn't think I had stored any. I think I need coffee. How much am I getting? Oh, that's not bad. I still need coffee, though. Hang on. Coffee time. <laughs> Back at it. Because if a thousand wood only did like the front part of the stairs, I need so much more. You know what would be nice? Just throwing it out here. If, um, the higher you got in your repair skill, the less it took to upgrade and repair. You know. Something like that. Hi, Leon. How are you doing? Wakey, wakey, guys. This somebody had way too much to drink. Hi. Is that? You know what? I've been sitting here cutting wood for a long, long time. 
Let's just go take a peek at whatever that is. I mean, there are trees around it, so, you know, I'm still, you know, it's fine. Okay, I'm thirsty. I gotcha. Reckon there's a zombie up there. Ah. <laughs> it's a bit intimidating to come up into. Okay. I don't think things went very well for him. Bow hunters. Is that part of this POI? Mushroom Mining Company? This is just Pine Forest, so this is just like... Okay, okay, gotcha. Well, I'm not interested in going to the Mushroom Pine Forest or mu Mushroom Mining Company. I've got to get the last bit of the wood. Okay, we finally have 6,000 wood. That took all day. All day, guys. Every bit of the day. But hopefully that will get everything upgraded to at least wood. The problem is, is I don't think that the zombies care if it's... Um, I think you have to get them up to cobblestone before the cop zombies don't feel the need to shoot anymore. It has to do with the... Uh, the health of it and stuff like that. I'm not sure all of the statistics. I remember watching someone who was doing a deep dive into what it was that would cause it, but I don't currently right now have that video. It's been a while since I watched it. Everybody was trying to figure it out and they went through and tested and tested and tested and found out some things. But I need a lot more water. Do we have? Yeah, we got stuff I can make water with. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make some more bacon and eggs. Do some water. Uh, that should be all the water I need now. There we go. Okay, let's get to upgrading and tomorrow we'll probably have to focus most of the day on either finding cobblestone or the best use of your time actually is just to mine for the resources to make your own cobblestone. You get a whole lot more for that amount. It's kind of boring to do, but... It is a thing that should probably be done. Now, for now, I'm just going to upgrade those guys to wood. If we were playing past uh, this day, I would say most certainly wait and get these blocks right here up to cobblestone because, yeah, it's definitely going to need it. And then, to make it easy for the zombies to use this path area, there we go. I just saw that out the corner of my eye. That was a full dog horde. Where did they go? Oh no. Oh, there they are. Uh, there are puppies in that horde. Um, <laughs> why? Why over here? I mean, obviously because I'm here, that's the reason you guys are here, but... Daggummit. I have a feeling one of those dogs is going to get close enough to hear what I'm doing up here. There's a dog horde just sitting over there menacingly. I just want to work on my beast, guys. I probably should go ahead and take these dogs out of the equation. Because I'm going to forget that they're here and they're, it's going to get to where I can't actually see them. Uh, on second thought, no. Nightfall, I just realized how close it was to nightfall. Running! It's going to be an entirely way too short episode of me grinding for materials and building a base. 
But it is what it is. Okay. Now, why would you just do that? Whoa, 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 mini bird. Oh, man. That's my carpet you're playing around in. Get out of my carpet. Oh, man. There goes all that hilt. It's probably a bit excessive, but it's either that or it's going to eat through all of my food, so... We'll go with it. All right. Um, what else do we have in here that we might be able to use? I do have a bit of concrete that might be useful in a couple of areas. We have waters. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. I know I spent most of the time doing what I normally do, which is like harvest things and not talking. So editing, let us do what you can with it. But uh, we've got the base built and we're started working on it, hopefully before in the morning time. Those dogs that are over there will be gone. I hope. I'm not about to sit here and try and fight all of those dogs. That was a full horde plus puppies, which means all of the head heights are not necessarily on the same level. So I can't just like shoot down the line and take them all out. Chances are I will be missing some of them and I will get my hide tour up by some doggos. And I would prefer not to do that the day before a horde. You know, I would much rather run through my own traps because that's a better use of my time. Yeah. Okay, so I'll see you in the next episode where we try really hard to get all of that upgraded to the best of our ability before a horde. And fingers crossed we actually get to do a mission tomorrow because that would be nice too. I will see you then. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and you stay shiny. Bye!